Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. This is Logic 301 and month number three. Today we're going to be looking at Zero is the Beginning, also known as Piano Postulate 3. So, as it stands, it is possible that the natural numbers are a loop, that zero is its own successor, or that zero is simply a midpoint in a string of natural numbers. Well, we may think of negative one as the predecessor of zero, because we're only focusing on the natural numbers right now, zero is the first. And so zero cannot have any predecessor. Taking as an axiom that zero is the first first prevents us from having a situation where numbers start with zero and loop back on themselves, and therefore are not infinite and don't map onto our conception of the natural numbers. It would be strange only thinking of whole numbers for us to think of 5, 6, 7, or some other positive number coming before 0, and having 1 plus 5 equals 0. That doesn't seem to make sense, and so we want to say that 0 has no predecessor, at least within the natural numbers. Explicitly, this postulate is framed in terms of successorship. It states that zero is not the successor of any natural number. There does not exist a number such that zero is its successor. Sometimes this is stated as zero has no predecessor, or that zero is not the successor of any number. While this addresses some loops, we have not gotten rid of all of them yet. We could still have loops further down the line. Our number line could start 0, 1, 2, 3, but then loop back on itself, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, etc. Because this still has a situation where 0 has no predecessor, but we just have a loop that goes over and over again, so we could only have four natural numbers. It could also have branches that converge further down the line. It could be the case that 4 is the successor of 5, 6, and 7. While moving us in a good direction by saying that we can't loop back to 0, this postulate is not yet sufficient to get us the structure that we need to construct a number line of natural numbers that looks and behaves as we expect it to. And remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a model, a formal language that can map onto our normal conception of what the natural numbers do. Basically, build a set theory and a logic underneath the natural numbers so that if we ever have questions, we can always build that back down to that logic. Up next, we're going to be looking at the next piano postulate, no branching number lines. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.